All right. That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. All right, suit yourself. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Adios, amigos. Hmm? Oh. Oh. Disgusting. Hola, Franklin. Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's got to be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. Okay. We got ourselves a Trevor mission, and it involves murdering rednecks. My kind of game. Um, I don't know where the hell Michael is. He's chilling in his car out here in the middle of oh, fuck nowhere. I wish I was staying at a motel. All right, get back in your fucking car. You must go talk to Trevor. Michael, I haven't heard from you. I trust you're keeping fine mental health, but I worry. Phone session? Okay. Hello? Dr. Isaiah Friedlander speaking. Hey, Doc, it's me. Michael, how are you? Not good, Doc. Not good at all. Well, we spent a lot of time over the years discussing how negative actions lead to negative thoughts as much as the reverse. Because of the compounding of your classical low self-esteem with your assorted sexual hang-ups, the desperate search for the easy answer in life, and your profound narcissism, reality will have a habit of handing you a repeated kicking. Anyway, what's up? Hell, Doc, you put it like that. Well, I'm afraid I ain't got much hope. Have you been acting out again, Michael? <sighs> Things are bad, Doc. Really bad. Tell me all about it. Sharing is winning. I'm out in the desert now, Doc. My wife left me, my kids. Oh, we upset some guy, but that wasn't enough. We stole his wife. Now we gotta leave town. I'm living in a trailer with my psycho old buddy Trevor. He keeps killing people, Doc. You know, shit, me too. Ah, oh, Christ, things are just really fucked up again. You've gotta make more time for therapy, Michael. This is a major relapse. Any other violent outburst, Michael? Yeah, I mean, I've had good days, Doc, but... Mostly they've just been really bad days. They're doing really bad things, you know, hurting people. You're a very sick man, Michael. I'm doing all I can, but we need more sessions. Okay. There's a part of me, Doc, I just can't seem to control. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good, not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. So, I feel like I'm making progress. You know, not perfect, but sort of better. You know, therapy can really help you, Michael, which is why you should be really pleased with what you're doing. But I'm going to have to stop you there. Oh, and there is one thing. Phone sessions are a little more expensive, obviously. Obviously. But so fulfilling. Let's speak again soon. 1500 bucks. Well, damn. Alright, where the fuck is the Trevor thing? What the fuck? Hi. Hello, Ron. Watching the grass grow, I see. I don't know. Oh, what? Okay. Hey, Trevor. Don't know where Trevor is. Don't know where the Trevor mission is. What the fuck are you doing out here? The hell? What the fuck is this? Where's my gnome gone? Huh. All 
All right. Well, um, let's go back to Michael. <laughs> All we've had was a fucking phone session. Okay, we are here, and the Trevor mission is here now for some fucked up reason. He's drunk in a, someone else's swimming pool, I guess. Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. The fuck? Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom, too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Uh, please, son. <laughs> you want a sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. Oh, man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low carb. Oh, fuck you. Uh, where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit. The picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's gotten you real far. Oh, yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you've gone. Man, ten years in the sun, your brain has melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? Did I fucking kill only on the weekends? So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. Oh, oh, yeah, sane, 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 oh, sane. Okay. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty on. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you. He hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here? By calling L.S. and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. Apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, huh? I might die. I hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boys. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Don't fuck stay it up. out too late. Yay, Mrs. M. Who Franklin's location, which is oh god, eight miles out in the so middle. What is but Franklin doing nowhere. for you anyway? He's tailing some guys, Mikey. Tailing. Oh, okay. I don't have to drive out there. <laughs> We're doing good. If he's back to Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about it? God damn it! Damn, these redneck fools know we own them now. Okay, why the fuck are we in this? The gallivanter. We also have a dog. Yes. No, Chop. I like we the subtitles for Chop. Wolf, many wolf. Of them. Hey, man, me and Chop on these punks. We're coming up to WH, north of Chuma. All right, all right, the O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo. Well, one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are going to take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? 
because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right, 